Uh, welcome to your gold market update and charts of the day for today, the 10th of March 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets, to lead you around what's happening in tumultuous markets today, it's fair to say. Uh, let's have a look at what's coming across the news. Of course, overnight we had a very weak session. We saw the NASDAQ down in excess of 2%, the S&P 500 eyeing mid-January lows. And really, the financial stocks took an absolute hammering. We saw JP Morgan, for example, down 5%. This was on the back of strong weekly jobs numbers, uh, which of course plays into the aggressive Fed narrative and caution before today's big data. We're seeing follow through in Asia, both in the US futures, which are mildly down, although slightly off the lows, but Asian indices are following that weaker US lead. The ASX is down more than 1.5%, uh, actually has hit 1.85% so the downside, uh, but looks as though there may be some recovery. Financials are the worst performing sector for the ASX as well, but materials are also looking weaker as the day progresses. European equity futures are pointing to a lower open and the VIX popped a little higher and moved back over the key 20 level around about 21 at this stage, which suggests that market anxiety is slightly rising. One thing that was surprising about last night was that we saw a little bit of weakness in the USD despite equity selling off. Normally, there's a, an inverse relationship between what happens to the USD and the S&P 500, particularly now when the Fed is so much in play. As a result of that, we saw gold continue its bounce off 1800 after its earlier week sell-off to make its way back up to 1830. Copper is holding four dollars but looks very choppy and oil did drop a little again but it's still looking triangular from a technical point of view. The other main story was in cryptos Bitcoin got hammered. We talked yesterday about a technically bearish signal. There was a double top that was forming when we did this report yesterday. It completed and subsequently dropped eight percent. Back down to 20,000 around, was touching 22,000 a couple of days ago, and it's continuing to sell in Asia. Just be aware this may gap down and open significantly different from its closed price on Monday, and one to be careful of if you're invested in the Bitcoin CFD. It is a massive day today, and it's one where we would suggest that risk is probably close to its highest in terms of a move away from where we are now. We've got the U.S. non-farm payrolls this evening. Obviously, that monthly U.S. employment number is one of the big data points of any month. On top of that, we've got the BOJ who are reporting their interest rate decision. The press conference subsequently may be significant. We've got the head of the BOJ. It's his last session today. It'll be interesting to see, in light of some weak data that's come out from Japan over the last few days, whether there's any intervention suggested. On top of that, we've got big data coming out of the U.K., uh, probably the highlight is the GDP. We've got also German inflation data and Canadian jobs. So whichever way you look, whichever asset class you're trading, there could be an impact. It's really worth having a look at the Aussie yen. You can see there on the 30-minute chart, we're moving down to this S1 pivot. Uh, a breach of that could mean a drop of another 50. But if we look at the four-hourly chart, uh, you can see the significance of this drop, even if we take it back even further. Uh, if we breach S3, we could see it down to perhaps even 87.5, which will be a significant drop, obviously, from where we are now. Uh, but there's lots of potential downside in here. The Aussie is looking weaker and weaker against the yen as the day progresses. And that yen strength is being seen across most yen crosses at the moment. On the ASX, it is difficult to find a bright spot at all today uh, with most of the markets down. Uh, there's only utilities are in positive territory in terms of sector, but Appen Limited in the AI space is one that certainly caught our eye. That breach of 265 looks technically interesting and could be move up to $3, so possibly one to see where it sits at the back end of the trading day. Outside of that, possibly a day to stay clear. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.